welcome to Digging with Deej. On this episode, I will be giving you the approximate VDI numbers for some Canadian coins for the Technetics G2+. Plus. Now, your VDI disp numbers displayed can vary depending on the type of soil. Do you have clay? Do you have topsoil? Do you have sand, gravelly? You know, it all depends on the type of soil, the density of the soil. It also, um, the conductivity of your soil will have an effect on your VDI numbers. Have you been going through a drought? Have you had three weeks of rain like we've had? Or is your soil normally moist? You know, kind of in between those two. All those can affect what your VDI display reads, as well as how well your machine picks up the coins. So this video is just to give you an idea if you have a diggable target or not, if you are deciding you want to be a coin shooter. Um, or, you know, it's good for relics too. But we're working with coins today in this video. So, and we're working with Canadian coins. So we're gonna start out with half pennies, pennies, um, bank tokens, things like that. We're gonna start out with the pennies. So the first one I have is what we call an unsu. Then we have the New Brunswick half penny currency. This is an 1854. Then we have, I've dug one of these, I love them. It's a Bank of Mont, or this one is Bank of Montreal, Province of Canada, Concordia Salus. 1844 half penny. So this is considered a half penny token. This is my most favorite Canadian coin. Well, one of two of my favorites. This is a Quebec bank token half penny. And this is an 1852. And it has a picture of the ship in the background and the docks. beautiful coin then we have what is now it is called by most coin shooters as the dragon slayer and it is a bank of upper canada half penny token and this one's dated 1852 as well okay then you have an 1882 Canadian large cent. Then you have a 1916 King George V large cent. And these are Canadian, of course. Then we have success to the fisheries on one side and speed the plow token. Okay, and we go to our small cents. And I'm just going by what I have, you know, coins that I actually own. I have a 1934 one cent. Got a 1942 that's a little bit different. I have a 1956. Then I have a commemorative 1867 to 1967 dove. And then we have our 1979 penny, Canadian penny. So let's move on to the nickels. 
Okay, so now we've got the nickels, and we're going to start out with the 1904 fishy. Canadian fishy. We've got the 1945 Canadian victory nickel. Then we've got the multi-sided, multi-faceted 1961 beaver nickel. So we are going to do the dimes and the quarters now. So we've got a 1940 King George the Sixth dime. We've got a 1961 Elizabeth the Second dime. Then we go to our quarters. And I don't have very many quarters, but I do have we have the 1949 caribou quarter. And we have the colorized breast cancer awareness uh, 2006. And then I have a 1978 caribou quarter. Then we're going to go to the Looney. I have a 1988 Looney. And I've got two different tunies. I don't know if they'll ring up differently or not. This one is a 2001. And this one is a 2004. Okay, then we're going to go to our half dollars. I have a 1969 Canadian half dollar. I have a 1985 Canadian half dollar. And then I have a Canada $1 proof. It's a... Uh, 50% or 0 0.500 silver. It's a Regina. So these are the only sil the only Canadian coins that I have in my collection. But I hope it was helpful for those of you that may be new to the Technetics G2 Plus. Um, it's no guarantee that that's what you're digging, but it'll give you an idea if you have a diggable signal. So please stay tuned. I will have more videos using the Technetics G2+. And I appreciate you watching. I'll see you soon.